no answer to that question. In the memory data bank or memory bank, nothing happens there. You see, it cuts out. You see, you have said something here. This listening mechanism records that but there is no answer to it. If I say it is silent, if I say it is not uh, searching, it doesn't say the data no, not So we have more time to disappear tomorrow. Go somewhere. Huh? Andy, I am not going to see anybody from tomorrow. They are not coming here. Bye bye. We say. Every day. Do you know that? Me Ravade, you will go. Very good. Sir, one thing I must tell you. If I am certain of anything, it is this that you are not going to be helped in any way. by hanging around me this certainty i have you know now we see it is uh, bothering me in a way that are you not participating in the illusion that they think that they are getting something something is getting clearer and clearer so actually you are that is getting clearer your thought structure you see but uh, there is no such thing as clarity of mind at all clarity of thought doesn't exist so are you not uh, participating in the illusion that we, something is becoming clearer and clearer i don't believe in any physical uh, presence darshana nothing like that you see as far as the life energy is concerned you are the expression of the same life energy as i am the expression the dog the cat i'm not talking about oneness of life or any such thing the life energy is something which cannot be captured contained and given expression whatever energy you experience is born out of this matter thought you see it is dead experience so there is no such thing as energy there at all whatever energy you experience is thought created thought induced all the spiritual experiences are thought induced experiences there is nothing to them at all so are you not uh, participating in that illusion so you may very well ask me the question cloud people throw that question at me why it has taken so many years for you to realize this basic situation you and those who come to talk to you find themselves you see and you were self in so somewhere along the line i have to say you see <coughs> no you should not i am not going to have a bouncer to throw you all out but you, i have been hoping against hope that somehow you see this confrontation will tell you that it is not going to be of any help to you and you will get up and go so i have failed totally i don't feel sorry i don't cry on my deathbed like jay krishnamurthy nobody has been helped by me i don't know why he even thought he could help anybody see so in other areas you see if i want to know uh, something about my body any day i go to you a doctor who has studied it who has uh, maintained a record of his uh, discovery and not to any other guy yogi or religious man no you see he doesn't know anything about himself except the knowledge that is uh, passed on to him and he repeats that's why i call it war of shit throw it up and whatever what to eat the moment the question arises there you see this shit <laughs> throws it up that very question what to eat finishes you don't need to ask that question like the animals they are very selective i was watching the dog yesterday when i was sitting in the car and you know, he went to the post office and for 15 minutes i was watching it is so selective what is that intelligence i don't know as i did anything and everything that is there you know cow and the cow i'm sorry not the dog the cow so we are also like that you see the selectivity is native born selectivity is already there for basic uh, needs of the body for the psychological needs cultural needs all that is a shit i'm sorry you can write a shit open shit and that is the oral shit you see throw it out everything you are saying is the oral shit that is put in there by culture by our society any day i would listen to you to know something about my body and then all those religious guys who pretend that they have 
knowledge of that body, they don't know anything. There is no way you can find out anything about the body because it cannot be experienced by you. Not at all. You cannot separate yourself from the functioning of the body. If you separate yourself, whether it is spiritual knowledge or the technical knowledge that is passed on to us from generation to generation, and through the help of that knowledge you experience everything. You see, what you do not know, you cannot experience at all. So whatever you experience is born out of that only the knowledge that is given to us, whether it is given by a religious man or a scientist or somebody, you see. So you have to use that knowledge to find out. Otherwise you have no way of finding out. This guy, you say, is dead. The body cannot experience its own death. What we call death is finishing of what is put in there, you see. You know, this is you, this is that, this is that. The knowledge that is put in there about you, that has to come to an end. That is the only death. Other than that, there is no such thing as death for this body. There is no such thing as birth for this body. So from the time you are born, this birth and death is a simultaneous process. It happens at the same time. So you separate the two and say that is because this thinking mechanism is born out of uh, logic and, uh, you see, and also cause and effect relationship. So you cannot conceive the possibility of anything happening outside the field of cause and effect. So you have to find out the cause of everything. That is the, the problem for the scientists also. Why the hell do you have to find out how the, how the origin of the universe, whether God created or some, all these theories they are coming up, how does it interest me? It is good for them. See, I know it is interesting to read and talk, repeat that nonsense. But yet we don't know. You see, whether now the bang, great big bang theory is now thrown out. So they will come out with another theory. So that you cannot conceive the possibility of anything happening outside the field of cause and effect. You see, so there must be cause for everything. You can sit and talk, cause is the effect, effect is the cause, you know, and all that philosophical, metaphysical rubbish, you see. But it doesn't mean anything. So that, that is the thing that is uh, not bothering me, you see. I mustn't do anything to encourage that kind of a thing. You know, I never ask anybody to come, you see, you come on your own. And like that guy, you see, I say, I never ask you to come here, you see. I don't ask anybody, I don't invite anybody. You know, if I find myself in a situation where I have to tell him, I didn't ask you to come, so you came on your own. Nice meeting you, bye-bye. I have trouble with all those people, they, they are curious. That's all. Curiosity brings them here, how come? You see, then they get stuck to this and then uh, the religious, this is one thing, you see, there is no spiritual potential there at all. So, the spirit, you see, is an invention of us, you see. You know, I'm never tired of repeating that, you see. The word spirit is a Latin word. It means breath. Breath, that is all that is there. Even that you cannot experience. When that stops, what you call death takes place. So it cannot experience the death. You say that it's a corpse, a dead corpse, it's a stiff word. Because you use that knowledge, you see, the doctor comes and tells you that he is not breathing, no more things, and the stratoscope falls, not there, so, but there are millions and millions of things living on that so-called dead body. Yesterday they removed his, it was not that chance I said this, he killed the mosquito, mosquito, yeah, the other thing is not my blood, then, it was the mosquito that he killed. Yeah, but not it's, it's blood, not, blood yeah. not my blood. They don't touch like, biting you. Later day, biting either there must be something here. Pain was in the other. I went to the best. 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 I I will never stop them. So, but they don't like my blood. Ah, sensation, no, they don't. 
అధికారంగా దే డోంట్ లైక్ మై బ్లడ్ ది మస్కిటోస్ దే డోంట్ లైక్ ది దేర్ ఇస్ నో హెమోగ్లోబిన్ లెఫ్ట్ ప్రాబబ్లీ హియర్ ఫర్ దెమ్ టు not only this guy is useless to reproduce it also may you want to mosquitoes you have to use <laughs> they have no use that is what i am saying the you see the nature the nature you see you may not accept it because uh, what i am saying is very difficult to find some uh, something in their uh, the knowledge you see the it i don't accept any such thing as evolution at all so uh, there is not something that is evolving from something that was there before there is also the logic the first cause and effect relationship we have to so mutation mutation is the word i like it but not this sense in which yajnasamuti used is a radical mutation nothing of the kind the mutation occurs not in perfect species i have to accept what they are saying not what these guys are saying and the origin of species we study now it's outdated outmoded passe now they are trying to you see to bring back that you see in england to revive but that is all nonsense what he talks about so what i am saying is that it always occurs in the degenerate species you see the nature's way is to take jumps not something uh, evolving you see into that so when a mutation occurs and it takes a jump you cannot find out anything similar in the new one or radically different one in the result of the mutation from what was there before you see totally different these two they cannot be compared you see so and from then on it goes and then on and on another mutation occurs that is the way the things are happening in nature those who believe in evolution and all that may not accept what i am saying so there is no need for you to compare the two and this the result of the mutation is the same that was there before so when people ask me this question you did all this you did meditation you did yoga you visited dr ramati you listened to him and uh, so that gives hope to the people that i also did the same thing and it was because of that whatever happened to me happened that is, that is the one we see that is very comforting for you and gives you hope i am saying no despite of whatever i did in spite of all that i did i am just lucky you see that this kind of a thing has happened to me and so when this kind of a thing happens to you it will be completely and totally different i am telling you completely and totally different what you will come out with i wouldn't know but one certainty You, you can be sure of and i am certain of is that this will be obsolete and thrown out you understand this will be obsolete, obsolete. whatever i am saying is already dead yes, yes. you see whatever i am saying is dead right. because i am using the dead language you see because the moment it comes out it is already framed in that dead structure yes. so it is it is no longer valid and true for me yes is no longer valid and true for me mm-hmm. so how can it be of any use to you any value to you i know that you see that is why you are fitting that into that framework and trying to fit me into that framework is modified in some ways is using the language of our times that is why it is different and you quote uh, come sir for prab bahuda and the truth is one sage is saying differently not at all i am talking of the physical mutation that occurs nature it is not using anything as a model it has no models so what my assertion is that because of the cultural input there i know you will ask how can that cultural input which you say is worthless thing can't be handled by nature you see this can the misery of the people is caused by the impossibility of keeping that going see that is why it is throwing up you see whatever it doesn't want it is throwing out you see that intelligence is there so you want the same thing to continue so what happened probably some of those guys experienced the activity of some of the glands you know and they translated them in spiritual terms and mystified the whole thing so this body is born with glands as part of that living organism 
they remained inactive because of the superimposition of thought on that. You see, a squatter here controlling this house. You see, the culture, the very, both. Culture is the way of life and way of thinking. So it is preventing the possibility of that, you see, uh, activating themselves on their own and become part of this living organism. And from then on, it is not possible for anything to be put there, you see. Brushes it aside. Thought cannot touch that at all. So the, they are activated. You see, when I talked of thymus gland, uh, 25, I want that uh, Dr. Lin's article, you know, say, that he wrote that in the American Medical Journal, refused to print it, because at that time it was not acceptable. You see, thymus gland is the most important gland. That, you see, the theory that they were uh, propagating was when you reach your 13th or 14th year, it mm -hmm. becomes inactive and it is uh, active until you reach that age and it remains. That is not true. And then you see the theory that uh, it is activated in my case uh, because I am uh, finished with that mm -hmm. kind of a thing. Nothing of the kind. It, whether it is activated or not, now so many books are published on that subject. Mm -hmm. And even Ramana Maharshi talked of the real heart, the real Hrudaya, but he showed it in the wrong uh, place, you right. see. So probably some of these yogis through their uh, techniques of meditation and yoga tried to activate them and felt some tiny little experiences and called them chakras, called this, that and the other. But nothing happened to them. You see, it is like trying to open forcibly a closed door. Mm. So when once, you see, it is uh, it really fully developed the human body, then all of them are activated. There is no spiritual significance to them at all. You see, the, the pineal gland, the pituitary gland, you see, then the thymus gland. You see, now this body, physically, not the product of evolution or anything, if, if there is any purpose, I don't think there is any purpose in the, in the creation or anything, it is now complete. So, it will discard and throw it out. Even this physical body, which has come into its own completely and totally, and freed from the control of all that shit that is put in, it functions in its own way, and uh, it goes gracefully the moment it reaches the, uh, the you know, uh, genetically programmed age. <laughs> you see, then it goes, it doesn't go sad. There is no such, this is immortal in the sense that this body, after your so-called defined death, <coughs> helps so many millions and millions of forms of life to thrive on this. If you bury it, millions are there living on this body. And then if you burn it, the carbon content of the soil is enriched by your ashes. You see, nothing is wasted in nature, nothing is wasted in nature. That's why I say, you see, you are denying the other forms of life by grabbing everything and telling me that these nuts, nuts are good, only nuts, only the birds eat nuts, I don't eat nuts at all, only the birds. So you are denying the food for the birds and saying that they have, I don't know what nuts they have, I don't eat it. Now they have found out that peanuts activate the self, the sex glands and all the girls they are living in the hostels are becoming wild it seems. You see, they, they are going wild sexually. And so they have been forbidden to eat uh, peanuts and peanut butter and everything in the hostels now. Whether there is anything to eat or not, it's a different story. The nuts have no place, no, no need for this body. Okay? So what I am saying is we are grabbing everything that uh, their nature for ourselves and telling ourselves and others Whoever created, you see, created us for some, my favorite phrase is nobler and grander purpose than the mosquito that kept us uh, trying to get the homoglobin from this. It is as much a right, you see, to have it. Who the hell am I? You see, to kill that. Uh, what for? You let it have something, you see, it is living. How many millions and millions of things are crawling on this body, sir? Yes. They have taken a picture of that and put in the newspaper or time I live I don't know the enlargement of that. As big as a cockroach, cockroach. Millions of things. So if we take bath, we are killing them. Not that I am saying that you should not, even the animals go and wash themselves. And if you use soaps, 
you are killing them you see so i found something very interesting very recently in my place in california i have so many cockroaches uh-huh. in my bathroom uh-huh. and then uh, I, i don't want even to do anything you see they are not bothering me maybe i don't want to step on them and kill them and lisa used to collect and throw them out and i told her she why do you want to do that they have a right to be here and i have always been wondering how they survive and what is the kind of food they are eating and then every time you see i left my soap there open in my shower the next day i found you see something was happening to my soap and then i found that these cockroaches are living on the soaps <laughs> that was my discovery so suddenly i found it and then lisa also told me she doesn't leave anything in the open the soaps to stop these cockroaches eating the soap she is putting them in a soap box and hiding it and then one day i decided that you see whether they will eat all sandalwood soap they like it more than other soap so my soap sandalwood <laughs> i did all these experiments in my own way and one day i put dead also they didn't even touch the dead also <laughs> you know there was no reason for me to use dead also you know but i use it only when to wash my hands after toilet <laughs> you see you know and so that is all that is there you see they how they survive is is amazing amazing we are without knowing creating you see the the problems for all the other forms of life i am not saying that you should not take your bath or you should use cosmetics i was telling before you came the olfactory nerves don't want that kind of smell whether it is indian perfumes or the american stuff they are selling it cuts out you see because it is uh, very bad for the olfactory nerves like the way it cuts out sound it cuts out the light it it cuts out everything and so well, what i am trying to emphasize is that body is born with such a tremendous intelligence and it can survive in this world without the help of anything that we think is good for the body you can never conquer that but what you are doing is delaying that right and so thereby you are causing suffering to those bodies that are ready to go yeah, i don't know if you have seen any people suffering from cancer you see even jay krishna murthy after when once you see the pain killers don't act the agony becomes unbearable never You were Ramana Maharshi when he died, I said that uh, the three men died in a cage. Third time he didn't want operation. Even operation, when once you cut this body, it's not the same. No, I don't advise anybody to go to... When Nanamati asked me, should I go for uh, radiation, should I go for cancer, this, you have to go, you see. I, what I don't do, I don't tell anybody not to, not to do it all. So the agony of those people, Jai Gashamati was drinking, sir, mm. you know, because he could not bear, he had pancreatic cancer. If I were there, I would have told him, thank God, you see, it has not spread to your uh, limbs, you see, when once, oh my God, the pancreatic cancer was one of the worst painful things, you see. So why you want to keep that body going, you see? Because the cancer is swelling, you know, David. చిన్న జనరేట్ కొంచెం స్వెల్లింగ్ ఉండేది ఎక్కడ ఆయనకి ఆయనకి అదే కాదు ఈ వాస్ కీపింగ్ హిస్ హ్యాండ్స్ లైక్ దిస్ బికాజ్ ఈ డిడ్ వాంట్ పీపుల్ టు నోటీస్ ఫింగర్ ప్రింట్స్ స్వెల్లింగ్ ఉండేది పార్కిన్సన్స్ ఉండే పార్కిన్సన్స్ లో దట్స్ వై ఈ వాస్ సిట్టింగ్ లైక్ దిస్ ఆల్ ది టైం ఎవరీవే ఫర్ ఇయర్స్ అండ్ ఇయర్స్ అండ్ ఈవెన్ ఈవెన్ వెన్ దే ఫైనల్లీ డయాగ్నోస్ హిస్ కేస్ ఆఫ్ పాంక్రియాటిక్ క్యాన్సర్ మెడ్రా ఆఫ్ దట్ వాస్ ది లాస్ట్ వన్ ఇయర్ 1995 డిసెంబర్ they told him you may not live long so you know what he said with this condition i can live for another 10 years he lived only 10 weeks finished gone thank god so he was crying so he was taking you see all the world no i am not again a stick you see why would you say what i would do in such a situation is anybody's guess so i don't even know what i will do i can talk big like this when once i am in that situation what i would do i don't know he said probably i will also you see ask you to free me from physical pain as i can say that there is no physical pain for me it is not experienced by me you know so the body has no such thing as pain we translate those 
sensations, as painful sensations, and then, you see, give continuity, linking them up all, so it becomes more acute than, uh, more unbearable than actually what we call the physical pain is. You know, I told you the story of my own case. I used to be, I'm never tired of repeating this. I was giving lectures on the platforms and getting garlands, you see. You know, that's all we get in India to honor you on the meaning and significance of pain. Wonderful lectures. I gathered material and fooled everybody. <laughs> not fooled, not that I was giving lectures. Fooled myself that there is some significance, that there is some meaning to our pain, physical pain. So when we were in Chicago, and my son had mumps. They told me, my doctor friends told me, you see, you will get it, your wife will get it, that newborn boy is six months, not even six months old. All children are born with immunity, so he will not get mumps. But you too will get it. So they were in my wake we were living in a small studio. So there was only one bedroom uh, where the mother and children and I was sleeping in the living room. So the danger is there, you have to be careful. Then I told him I had mumps in India and he said, uh, the strains are different, probably you will get these doctors there working in St. Louis Hospital. And then uh, my wife got it as the, and then she didn't have much trouble, I got it. And then the pain was so unbearable, the testicles, it affects when you have mumps. I was so in, uh, yes, yes, pain there, you see, more than anywhere else, oh. I'm telling you. The war and symptoms. Here, everywhere, you see. And uh, sir, next time you repeat Gayatri, I tell you that affects <laughs> your yes, organs, it's not it's not organs, it's organs also. Right, it's true, sir. I know that, you see, I, I can not stop, you see, you know that there is something there in those sounds, the Gayatri business. You know, even if you are a saint, the other day his brother and uh, uh, nephew were uh, repeating Gayatri, I felt the same thing physically. Huh? The experiences I experienced when I was doing this Gayatri three thousand times, probably that was the reason why I did it three thousand times Gayatri repeated that. Mm -hmm. Shiva Mantra didn't have the same effect on the body. I was trying to find out what is the relationship between the two, you see. What is it that is activating? That can translate it as, as something happening to you. And then the moment, all that nonsense, religious people's explanation didn't yeah, satisfy. There's a reason they said the, the women should not repeat that. Yeah, but uh, why, why not? Uh, see, he is also... I am ready to be a teacher, sir, that... Please, 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 yeah, but whatever it is, in Gayatri, you see, is responsible for the sexual aberrations. And that is the uh, truth. <laughs> no, it is... Uh, I'm not covered with the... This new invention. Huh? True. <laughs> it is... I stop. And it? Last one, what is it? You can stop this. No, I... You can stop this. It is easy, Krishnamurti, Bravitam, Bravitam, Cha, Krutam, Papam. Papam. Shitopanishatsu. Shitopanishatsu. Shirirameva Shasvatam. Iti Prakaranam Samaptam. Om Tat Shit. Om Tat Shit. Dr. Nayanathan is writing Shitopanishatsu and Rastana Dhyana. Nayanathan is a professor of philosophy there in California. My interview is a professor. My interview is a professor. Devi it is, later it is. Sir, even if you don't... Devi period is called Sarita, that is sun. No, no, whatever it is. Then he also... That's for the But women were not permitted to do anything. Why, why? Sarita, Devata, Gaitri, Chanda, Om, Om, Om. Why are they? In a Shitto Panshat, who is the main... Shitto Panshat, who is the main... No, Shitto Panshat, who is the main... He may be introduced. Ah, yes. Yeah, everything is. In the that 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 today you say that women. Even the language is that, sir. Language is that. You say mankind, what about womankind? Fifty percent of the people on this planet, you may have more men here and more women in some other part, but if you take the whole planet, population yeah. on this planet, fifty-fifty. And what happened? Now they have invented a word called chairperson, instead of chairwoman or chairman, chairperson. I like that person, person. is even now you see... Chairman is not there, chairperson. You know, woman also they call chairperson. Yeah. Is it to be clever? It's a very clever way. 
of still maintaining the division. You see, all right, if you call a uh, chair woman, and uh, so then woman, chair woman is all right. You can't call chair president. See, if you refer to that woman, you see, they use this person chair always, person. chair person, this person, person. So what I am saying is, then I will complete, you see, this story. I got it. You see, you can't imagine the pain, unbearable pain, the whole area. And they said, we'll give you some painkillers. What is the problem for you, these two doctor friends of mine? <coughs> I said, now the time has come for me to test if there is any significance, if there is any meaning to the physical pain. My wife was crying. Why are you torturing yourself? The doctors uh, were so unhappy. He said, Yuji, we can help you. We will even take you to the hospital and do something. No, I must find out if there is any significance any meaning to this pain. You see, do you know what happened? After fifteen minutes I became unconscious. The body could not, not the body, you could not bear the pain. So you must be thrown out. The only way it can handle the problem is to forcibly push you wherever you see, it wants to push and then handle this on its own. So then after uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, they decided to take me to the hospital and they were discussing what to do with it. Said, they were wondering whether I would ever come out of my consciousness or go for good. And they discussed uh, with the top doctors and went on and on and on without doing anything. I was lying. And they charged me $1,400 per one hour. They kept me there. The rooms, so now it is 2500 you have to pay for one day. They, you see, if you go to the hospitals. And then after one and a half hours or one hour, fifteen minutes, I came out of that. Nothing was there and I walked back home. So he took care of it, you see. So the unconscious state you think is something, you see, you must do about it. No, no, no. The body has to throw us out because we are such a menace there, preventing the body to take care of itself, you see. So I don't recommend this to somebody. If somebody is suffering, you see, take some painkiller and get relief. And probably from then on, you see, the body will not be able to handle, you see, these problems at all. So 1949 was the last time I was given any medicines. So they kept me in the hospital. That was the first year when they opened all the, the rooms for, uh, reserved for the British in Madras Hospital, General Hospital. My brother-in-law happened to be the cardiologist there. Through his influence, I had a room for myself and the additional room for my wife. My grandmother also came. Thirty days, typhoid fever. They were giving some medicines. And then uh, medicines, they knew that uh, there's no medicine for any disease, I'm sorry. And for typhoid, no. And then on the thirtieth day, I walked out to the hospital uh, and everybody said, you see, thirty days, nothing. You don't look like one, anybody who spent 30 days. One thing I am telling you, every time, I had a special nurses also, every time a nurse walked into my room, the only thought I had was to rape her, which I did not do. <laughs> you see, when there is a danger of you going, the one thing that is necessary for this body is to reproduce one like that. Very strange, you see, I felt, I didn't do actually. You know, but uh, that was the... Every time, never in my life, you see, I had such a wonderful thoughts. <laughs> a nurse who was looking after me so well. Never before, never after. Not all the thirty days. The second week it gets worse, you see, between and then slowly goes on. Since then, I have not had any trouble with my body. That cured me the typhoid. Never uh, allowed any doctor to tell me anything. And if he goes out of the way and advises me, you want to live, then don't tell me anything. Please. Otherwise you will go first. All those doctors who wanted to help me and then, you see, want, who were concerned about my body, even gods are concerned about it. it is, this story you can record. The Australian friends, sir, once uh, told me, God is so frightened of facing you and tell you face to face that they don't like what you are doing. So they have asked us to tell you. 
three things. One thing is that you are using silk. You see, God sees the silk worms crawling on your silk shirt and silk pajama. How can he do that, you see? You know that man? And he cannot wear silk. He should not wear. I wear silk because it is easy to wash and it occupies a very small place in my travel bag. My world belongings never exceeded 20 kilos all my life because I lived in a suitcase all the time traveling. Now I am trying to reduce it to five. Even that, you see, to two kilos or two and a half kilos, uh, reduce the belongings to that. And so, all right, you see, I will uh, stop wearing silk. Eh? And then what is the second thing? You see, you are about to begin your mission in life. You haven't yet started your mission. This is the time when you see you have to start your own mission. I told them, I don't have any mission in my life. Who has given me the mandate, you see, to save mankind? But he is worried, God is worried, because you are drinking so much cream every day. So you will have problems, you see, cholesterol problems. Even God was worried about my cholesterol, not only my doctor. And then all right, tell him that uh, I will stop using cream, see, taking cream. And then what is the third thing he is worried about me? God is, is reported to have told them to tell me that I am using shoes made out of leather. <laughs> you see, how can you use shoes made out of leather? The other two I am ready to go along with his wishes. But this you tell that guy that I wouldn't hesitate to wear shoes made out of your hide. <laughs> I pointed out, your hide. <laughs> Tell the best. <laughs> you know, why, why bother about my shoes made out of... If I don't use that, it is, it is something strange, you see. If I don't use it, it is a self-centered activity of mine to prove that I am not. You see, even if you stop wearing silk, you are not stopping others from killing the say, at all. So why is it so important for you to prove that you are not using anything to them? I know microscopic uh, way you are protecting the lives of those people. I am not interested in that at all. Millions and millions of things are killed by others. You see, what is it that you are going to do about it? Me, by not doing, to some extent, you see, you are in the shadow of I am not interested in that, you see. So this is the practical reasons I have to use. It's easy to wash and then you know, they occupy a very small place in my bag and they dry up very quickly. And then the cream, you see, is my basic food. Uh, I'm not interested in uh, pleasing that guy. But as for the shoes, uh, no chance. He is not uh, I don't know what they <laughs> told them. They, they are the only, he is the only one that will become a poor Purnavata. You see, and he needs the, we are all, all the spiritual teachers that have appeared on this planet, they are only aspects of that. And so why does he need my help to become a Purnavata? I am only an aspect. Now, no, they change it, you are Purnavata. Mm -hmm. They are calling me every day. Oh, now they can call you Purnavata. Even uh, Rama is, uh, I don't know, what they, the fact that they are calling me every day is too much. If they listen, they will kill me. I don't care. <laughs> they won't invite me. Today they said, why do you have to stay in a desert in Australia? You have your own house, come and stay here. We will take good care of you. <laughs> I was there just uh, three weeks ago in Australia, that is enough. So that is it, you see, it's 12 o'clock and now. So this Krishnamurti said he's going to bring, bring him here or even... And whether I was a genuine article or not, I don't know. Mm. So he asked him about me. He can ask about others also. At that moment, he is not an astrologer. Oh. He is just a, a, a businessman, very rich businessman, but he has this kind of a hobby all his life. And he doesn't call himself an astrologer, but very rarely he does this kind of a thing. So when you ask anything about anybody, he prepares the chart, taking that moment. Mm -hmm. His uh, reasoning logic is satisfactory to me. Some nurse at the time of your birth gives the exact... Your time he says the kind of chart is most exact. Most exact, he says, that kind of a chart, so. not the one prepared at the time of your birth. Uh -huh. According to the, the... He prepared the chart? Chart, yeah. 
అండ్ దెన్ దే స్టడీ ది ప్లానెట్స్ ఆల్సో ఆ టైం లో ఉన్న ప్లానెట్స్ ఆ టైం లో ఉన్న ప్లానెట్స్ ఇది ఇట్ ఓన్ అస్టాని ఐ డోంట్ నో వాట్ ది నేమ్ ఇస్ ఐ నో ఎనీవే షీ హి టోల్డ్ హి డిడ్ నో ఎనీథింగ్ అబౌట్ మీ ది అస్ట్రాలజర్ హి వాస్ క్యూరియస్ అండ్ దెన్ హి సెడ్ దిస్ ఇస్ రామనా ఇన్ హిస్ పాస్ట్ లైఫ్ So there are similarities, even sex is even there. Mm-hmm. His sister will throw away her son and that was the end. The sister was the last time there. I think that's the last time. But uh, I am no match to him. <laughs> How does he say that? Vaimana. No match to him means? I mean, in that sense, you see, he was an extraordinary man. So he didn't call himself... Uh, he didn't call uh, even... Uh, of course, he had uh, many women. He, he, until he until that moment yeah, until, until that moment yes. he, she offered any yeah. kushu yeah. woman he he no, no, prostitutes yeah. 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 and then you see she yeah. said why do you have to go you yeah. can have uh, you know only a woman so i am here his own brother's wife so that was who was a mother like a mother to him mother to him so that was yeah. why he always says that uh, కనకమృగం భూమిని కద్దు లేదనకుండా తనను విడిచిపోయే దాసుడు తీరు రాముడు దానిలా బంగారు జింక ఉంటుందా ఉండదా అని యోచన చేయకుండా వెళుతున్నాడు కదా తెలుగు లేని వాడు దేవుడు ఎట్లా